on my last inventor post uh, I've shown you how to do pipe clips and uh, how to alter them as uh, branch fitting. Uh, today I want to show you uh, a bit about the root editing and T insert. I have a filter which is too close to the column and what I want to do is move it to the left but there's not enough room so what I want to do is move that T with the sample valve just around the corner before the flange. Uh, so first thing what I'm going to do is disable the building so I can work around it. I can still visually see the changes but it's not selectable anymore. And then activate part filter and double click on the root if it's feasible to edit it. We're going to increase the distance before the T so that we don't violate the minimum distance. Um, and then we're going to insert a node that's going to be my elbow. Um, we're going to remove the collinear constraint. Um, and just drag the root a bit. We want to drag it because when we're going to constrain it, we want it to find, uh, to solve the minimum distance, um, meaning we don't want it to flip on the other side or have overlapping geometry. So the old elbow becomes a socket union and the new point that we inserted becomes the elbow. Now all I want to do is remove the old elbow, the socket union now. Unfortunately, when you remove nodes, uh, you lose constraints and dimensions, so you're going to have to dimension and constrain again. So, perpendicular there and parallel with one of the lines down below, and got a fully constrained sketch. Yeah. I could have just inserted another node before the flange, but then I would have to connect, reconnect the sample valve, and if you use component tagging, check my blog for that, you would have had to re-tag the elbow and the sample valve and so on. So I think this is much better, just it doesn't take long, it's a quick edit, uh, and uh, you move it all together around the corner. And now I'm ready to move the filter just a bit. Um, in this case, the filter has been placed in the top level assembly uh, and it's been constrained. Uh, but normally, I have this uh, authored as tube and pipe fitting and I just drop it along the line. Usually, all the components that are uh, along the line are authored as tube and pipe, and the rest, you know, like tanks and skids and equipment sitting on the floor, pumps. Uh, I usually place them at the top level assembly and constrain them. So now I can see that there's plenty of room now. It looks much better. But what if I wanted to move uh, the whole filter and bypass segment? So now if I try and remove uh, uh, the, the pipe segment there, unfortunately, you know, what Inventor does, it re removes the fittings on the nodes. So uh, let me just remove that for a second I'll show you. I had a teeth there, remember, where the bypass was. But that's been removed, so that's not a good solution. Now what? So what I like to do is insert two nodes and then remove the segment in between them. So the filter and the bypass kind of kind of floats up in the air. So now I can move the filter and the whole uh, the whole root should move with it. It is just disconnected from the rest of the root. And I can connect it later with constraints and uh, uh, new sketch segments. Let me undo that. Okay, but what if I want to uh, insert a T? So I have a, another socket coupling there. What if I want to insert a node there? Where most of the time, when you have a the the all the roots ends are connected you cannot create a new root like I'm trying to of any of those points I just want to point uh, so that's when you 
become creative and just choose any point available you can choose almost anything and delete the first segment and include the geometry that inventor likes to add so now you have a couple of uh, segments floating up in the air which is going to dimension it because otherwise when I drag it um, it's going to overlap or flip side and then what you want to do is coincide constraint to line with the point it's still not good enough if I'll drag it it, it will flip so I'm just going to do a perpendicular with one of the origin planes and now if I drag it it should come down below underneath that point now I can dimension this is a gap and that's wrong actually the whole thing it's an elbow elbow gap elbow and T takes the same amount the same space so they I have one parameter for both and all you have to do now is just drop another T in there um, I hope you've learned something new um, uh, join me next time when I'll show you uh, a couple of tricks on uh, mixed style roots and um, how to align the 3D ortho tool when it's really skewed. Till next time, bye bye.